and now we'll take a look at functions. Now a function is simply a new rule that you're given. For instance, f of x equals x squared minus 6x plus 10. Let's also say that we're given g of x equals x plus 2. If I wanted f of 2, I simply substitute 2 in for x in every part of the equation. So I'd get f of 2 equals 2 squared minus 6 times 2 plus 10, which would be 4 minus 12 plus 10, giving me 2. Now remember, with a function, you simply substitute the value you're given. So f of 3, I would have put 3 in everywhere there's an x. f of 10, I would have put 10 in everywhere I see an x. It's simply a matter of following the rule and making the substitution they request. Now you'll see those traditional functions from time to time on the SAT. But what I can guarantee you will see, one to two times per test are made up functions. They're called made up functions because they're characterized by goofy signs to denote the new rule that they are applying. These goofy signs can be asterisks, arrows, tildes, all kinds of goofy little signs. But you can't allow yourself to be distracted. Focus on what they're asking for and what the new rule is. Let's look at one. This made up function gives us for all integers a and b let a arrow up b equals 7 of the values below which is greatest. Then we're given the choices for number 1 a equals 4 b equals 72 number 2 a equals 72, b equals 1086, and 3, a equals negative 14, b equals negative 17. Then we have our answer choices to choose from. The key here is to focus on the rule you're given. It says a arrow up b equals 7. Well, if I put a 4 in for a and a 72 in for b, what do I get? 7. If I put a 782 in for a, and 1086 in for B, what do I get? 7. Nothing changes that 7 on the right hand side of the equation. Now this is a goofy problem. This is one that's more of a puzzle than a math question. But it's easy points. Anything you put in for A and anything you put in for B comes up 7. So the correct answer here is D. They all have an equal value. Once you get and stay focused on the rule they're giving you, these problems aren't that tough and they're in the difficult section so it's like stealing points.